Alright, so we're here with all of our orgeteers, and we are about to go caving. We're at the cave entrance right now, and we are all geared up, and we have all of our essential items we'll need in the cave. So let's get started. Alright, so everybody is ready. So let's head into the cave. Right, so let's get out our light source, and let's keep keep in mind to walk in single file and keep our, make sure everybody can see each other and keep our three points of contact as we're walking down this slope. Oh, and here's our first formation. So these things are very old. They take thousands of years to grow, so please don't touch them or else you could damage them or stunt their growth. So make sure everybody's with us. Good. Oh, and here's some more formations. Oh, and here are our cave splits. So this would be a good time to make sure that we have a good uh, eye on our surroundings. So we have this uh, this formation here that we can remember as that is the way that we came. Um, but just to make sure, okay, let's put down our light. Just to make sure, let's let's put some packing tape here, just to just to be sure that we can find our way back out. So which way should we go first? Let's see. We'll go this way. Oh, and split some more. All right. So let's just uh, put some more flagging tape down right here, just to just to tell us that this is just to connect our route. All right. Looking good. Oh. Well, that's quite a drop. Yeah, we don't want to jump down there, risk breaking a leg. Um, and uh, you, you know, you might want, you might be have the urge to jump to there, but that would not be keeping three points of contact. We ha must keep three points of contact at all times. So let's try to find a safer way down this uh, this drop. Excuse me. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So we missed this last time. This is a cairn. These rock stacks are kind of set up by other cavers to point out points of interest. And I believe this one is marking the entrance into that other room. All right, so a little squeeze to get through. Oh, and here in the mud here are what we call elephant tracks. So these are where other cavers have repeatedly walked over their own footprints, creating these big rivets in the ground. So these are helpful because they can lead us to a safe passages to the cave and help us get down muddy slopes by providing us an extra place to put our feet. So let's walk. Let's kind of follow this elephant track. Be careful. All right. So and we're down. Oh, it's a good thing that we didn't try to jump there too, right? This is completely unsupported. Okay, so let me just show you one thing real quick. So this is what happens if you're in a cave and a rock drops. So obviously never do this in a cave. Hmm, mysterious noise. Obviously never do this in a cave because this is, you know, a dangerous situation that we don't want to uh, cause to happen if we can help it. But if a rock does fall, then you yell rock. So here, I will illustrate. Rock! So I yelled rock just so that my companions could get out of the way and they'd be safe. Okay, let's make sure we have everybody. All right, good. All right, so we're following the elephant track still. Oh, another cave formation. Oh, and we've stumbled into a river. So this is the joy of caving, finding these unique land form, rock formations and waterways underground. 